Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Expert Labs coming back at you live for a brand new video about handheld gaming consoles. And today's video is going to be about um, a general reflection that I'm having right now about basically if there is a future for handheld gaming consoles such as the Steam Deck, the One X Player 2, the uh, Aya Neo, and um, other similar consoles. So before we get into the actual video, I'm probably going to title it something in the lines of um, is there an actual future or is there a future for the Steam Deck or is there a future for handheld gaming consoles such as the Steam Deck. So yeah, before we get into the actual video, um, I would also like to remind you guys that I'm going to um, publish lots of content on this channel relevant to handheld gaming consoles, gaming reviews, game reviews, also lifestyle, travel, and fitness. So if you're, in, if you're into that kind of content, I heavily suggest that you smash that subscribe button and hit that bell icon. This, will, this way you'll be informed of all my new releases. All right, now let's get into the actual topic. So I have enjoyed a lot my Steam Deck. I have had some very good times with it. I have um, really enjoyed playing um, lots of games on it, especially Elden Ring. Okay, I've had lots of fun with Elden Ring, Hotline Miami, and other similar games such as Faster Than Light and also Nuclear Throne. I really love these games. Guys, if you haven't got these games yet, I suggest that you get them now. I can't stress this enough, especially if you can get some really good um, sale on Steam. I also su suggest the Valve Pack. The Valve Pack is really good. Suggest you get it. So, yeah, I've had some really good times with it. But at the same time, you know, I'm really wondering if um, it's actually worth it. Because, for example, when I am out and about, when I'm traveling, I don't carry the Steam Deck with me because it just makes my backpack too heavy, right? It just um, adds too much weight to my backpack. And then I uh, don't really um, have a use for it. And most of the time when I'm uh, at home, I just prefer to use my gaming PC instead because I have an actual gaming PC. And it doesn't take that much time to set it up. I don't switch. I don't shut it down anyway. You know, I just leave it on. And so it's very easy for me to have access to my gaming PC and start gaming on it. And yeah, basically, when I go out on weekends, I don't find myself wanting to game anyway. You know, I don't really miss my Steam Deck when I'm out and about during weekends. So I don't think there's an actual point in uh, taking it with me. And yeah, of course, I don't take my uh, gaming laptop with me either. I take my MacBook Pro with me. I mean, I, I mean, I don't take my uh, gaming PC with me, of course, because it's a it's a whole PC, you know. I um I only take my MacBook Pro, and that's that's more than enough for a weekend. So yeah, that's my reflection on it. I just uh, I'm just thinking that it's um. It's kind of cumbersome. It's kind of heavy for what it is, for the performance that it offers. It just takes up too much space and it adds too much heft, too much weight to my backpack. So I cannot really uh, find, uh, I cannot really call it a mobile device, you know, and for the, um, the little like, um, the little spare time that I have left when I go on a weekend, with my girlfriend, for example, well, my phone is enough, you know, I can kill time with my phone basically by playing games on my phone. I am playing Legend of Rune Terra, for example, on it right now, and it's very entertaining. And uh, there's many other games that you can play on your phone, basically. And that just, uh, that, that occupies me enough so that I don't get bored, basically. 
And yeah, those are the, the two main points, basically, that it adds too much. Um, it takes up too much room in my backpack and it adds too much weight. And um, I cannot use it on public transportation. I cannot use it when I take the plane either because it's uh, just so cumbersome and so heavy. And um, I don't feel the need to um, to have an actual gaming setup when I go, when I'm out and about, you know, I don't feel the need to have an actual laptop, an actual gaming laptop when I go when I'm out and about because I don't have enough time to kill anyway. And um, when I'm at home, yes, the Steam Deck is very convenient. You know, it's very easy to uh, to grab and just play with it. But at the same time, using my actual gaming desktop PC is also very easy and does not uh, does not really um, bother me that much. You know, so yeah, this is my um, my reflection. I'm still having lots of fun with the Steam Deck. I'm still enjoying using it. I'm very glad that I got a 256 gigabyte version because it has a faster SSD, of course, the faster memory, which allows me to load games very quickly, to boot up games very quickly. And yes, the performance is not as amazing as the One X Player 2, for example, but of course, the um, Steam OS is still very good, very fluid. And I do not really notice that it's only uh, 30 FPS on screen because the screen is not huge. It's, a eight inch, it's an 8-inch screen. And the controls, well, the controls are pretty good. It's, got, it's taken me some time to get used to them because they are fixed to the actual device. They are not removable. And I don't really, um, I don't really mind, you know. I, it took me some time to get used to it, but now I'm used to it. And I um, I don't really feel the need to to detach the controls. I mean, I have used before uh, a switch. Okay, I have used the switch before, and uh, the controls of the switch are detachable. But I didn't I didn't really see the point this much. You know, I didn't really see the point um, to to detach the uh, of detaching the controls. I prefer using the controls uh, when they are attached to the actual device. So yeah, I'm just wondering if there's an actual future for these devices. And I'm just wondering if uh, right now maybe these devices will disappear when uh, maybe um, companies will learn to do a good gaming laptop. Because to be honest, I have never used an actual good gaming laptop. And I think that it is mostly because of Windows 11. Maybe one day um, a manufacturer will act, will actually produce a gaming laptop with a dedicated OS. Maybe Steam will make it, you know, maybe they'll make a Steam laptop with Steam OS on it. Or maybe some kind of, um, yeah, maybe, maybe um, Apple will start producing a gaming laptop of some kind, which would be pretty cool, you know. Because right now, um, even if you use Bootcamp to put um, Windows 11, to install Windows 11 on a, on a MacBook, it's still not going to perform very well when it comes to gaming. you know. Or maybe external GPUs will just become better and more affordable. But who knows, guys? Who knows, really? But right now, I'm still on the fence about this uh, this whole Steam Deck adventure. All right, that's it.